Hello, hi everybody. What is really good, my dudes? Today is April 6, 2020. We got another RuneScape update for y'all. This week we have a new Easter event, as well as a bunch of changes and fixes to the archaeology skill. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Cats is the illus. What you talking about, Willis? Alright guys, the Easter event is known as Grand Theft Coco. It's not actually in-game yet. It starts on the 8th and will run to the 15th. Basically, a bunch of pesky imps are up to their old tricks. This time, they've targeted the Easter Bunny. They've been stealing his eggs and trading them to the black market in exchange for all sorts of shady items. So it's your job to step in and get those eggs back. The Easter Bunny will reward such heroes with exclusive Easter-themed cosmetics. Or if you have any leftover eggs, you can trade them in for some mystery boxes. So once again, it'll run from the 8th of April. April until the 15th. That said, we're going to shift on over to the patch notes and see what's been changed with archaeology and more, so let's check it out. Starting with the archaeology changes. Inspecting a damaged or restored artifact and filling or inspecting a soil box will no longer interrupt your current action, allowing you to continue excavating uninterrupted. Players may now use either a Harlequin cow or one of each of vanilla, strawberry, or chocolate cow during a relevant archaeology mystery. A tick has been added to artifact information to show if you've previously completed an associated collection. The chance of receiving an artifact from research has been increased. Dr. Nabernik, third age expert research perk, has been modified to guarantee an artifact after researching two hours or more down from eight or more adjusted the text associated with the consumable items found in the archaeology guild shop so both their item and buff bar descriptions are consistent dwarven instinct aura will now spawn magical chests after you've earned xp in archaeology an armadillion yellow material cache at stormguard citadel has been moved slightly to make it more accessible corrected a typo where the collector isara was mispronouncing her own name different styles of redacted can now be used for the capricorn portion of the contact clause mystery History. The Slayer and Boss Collection logs will now open correctly when accessed via the Slayer counter. Moving on to some hot fixes that went live throughout the past week. Fixed an issue where player-owned ports voyages were being set to a negative duration while claiming research rewards. Fixed an issue with player-owned farm trapper farmhand was not returning. Fixed an issue that allowed players to gain a pulse core level boost in archaeology from the Desert Pantheon aura. This has now been locked behind the skill amnesty period. Fixed an issue that allowed the water fiend familiar to be summoned for a longer duration than intended. Summoning pets will no longer run away if they're following you when you log out. Fixed an issue that prevented some players from completing the contact clause mystery if they have already completed the Dagon buy mystery. Players will now be better informed about their contact clause mystery progress when speaking to Movario. Completed tomes can no longer be stored in the bank. Running out of skeleton champas as you reach max focus when excavating will no longer crash the player. Fixed an issue where additional Twitch loot crates were unintentionally rewarded. It's once again possible to obtain the Boo Boo doll needed to complete the Lost Toys mini quest. A bookshelf on the Archaeology Guild campus that was used to start the Elemental Workshop 2 quest has been lost during renovations. This has been replaced and it's now possible to start the quest. Chests in the Infernal Sorf Cellar can no longer be looted with a full inventory. Fixed an issue where the players couldn't fetch but criminal bolts if they already had some in their inventory. Using the font of life from your inventory will now correctly progress the archaeology tutorial. Fixed a texture Z fighting issue on Stormguard Citadel. Fixed an issue with some missing geometry in the Stormguard Citadel. And fixed an issue where some research was not being unlocked. Moving on to the Zodiac track, stopped the Twilight Pegasus pet from turning invisible in the wardrobe view, adjusted the Stargazer goggles to fit female character models better, adjusted the Yak track image on the upgrades and extras interface, and the Equius cape has been forged with the gold medal shown on the reward image. Moving on, four new options have been added to the graphic setting. Depth of field, which smooths out world view for scenery in the distance. Smooth camera fade. This is an existing feature where the camera clips into scenery, smoothing the edges. There's a new option to disable it, useful for content creators. Tree canopy fade makes tree canopies and certain other surfaces transparent if they would otherwise obstruct your character. And entity highlighting adds color-coded highlights and a pulse around interactions with NPCs, objects, and locations within the game world. To support the new object highlighting feature, the mobile activity tracker has a new highlight button. This button 
serves as a toggle to highlight objects in close proximity to your character. Moving on to some other changes, Arcane Blood Mage Hood polycolors are now shown on the male character head when textures are turned off. Ninjas have had another word with Egil, and ceremonial sword plans will no longer retain the progress of previous plans. The first plan you receive after this update may still have some leftovers on it, but every other one will be brand new. If a player has an unclaimed prize on Treasure Hunter and the promo changes, they will now be able to claim their original prize instead of being given a new one. Fixed various issues with the tutorial prompts on mobile during the invention tutorial. Modernized the first shop interface on mobile and re-added the spotted cape to the store. And finishing off, we got two bug fixes. Fixed an issue which resulted in text getting cut off in the skill selection screen when redeeming lamps and stars. Fixed an issue that was affecting treasure hunter prizes when a player's game window was the same length as the treasure hunter interface. That is it for your patch notes. Links to everything discussed in this video will be down in the description below. Head on over there to check them out. With that, I'm wrapping up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to stay updated in all things related, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha.